What's up, uh, uh, crew? I um, wanted to kind of do something a little special for day seven of Vlogoween. Um, and it's really because it's going to help me as well as help uh, the crew. So um, in class yesterday, we learned about um, fluid and electrolyte uh, balance. But then we also learned about uh, the uh, ABGs, or arterial blood gases. I thought it would be real fun to um, just talk about some of the um, ways to uh, know if a um, patient is suffering from... Um, acidosis or alkalosis and then whether or not it's metabolic or respiratory and I just have a little cheat sheet here um, we went over this again in class and there's also like a little tic-tac-toe game so I'm just gonna do just a few problems I printed out some um, some lab values uh, so that way uh, we can just do some practice exams I uh, printed these out on the computer and then I made a little chart. So let me go ahead and flip this uh, camera around. And we can actually get started because I don't want to hold the video too long. But I do want to make sure that, um, you know, you all understand it. And that way you can reference this. Um, just a quick note. A lot of times uh, we have, as nurses, we have to draw uh, arterial blood. Arterial blood is the best way to know uh, what's going on in the body. So um, whether it be checking the level of oxygenation or whether it is checking to see how much uh, CO2 is in the blood. Um, and that is going to kind of uh, put us down for that. So that's just quick overview um i'll go ahead and just go ahead and um speak about this and you know we'll chat down in the comment section um a little more so give me one second let me flip this around all right so um i'm gonna try to keep it you know pretty uh simple and to the point um and if y'all want like a more in-depth video i definitely would be more than happy to go ahead and uh, provide that but this is pretty much our, um, what a typical, uh, the lab values, what they should be in normal range for uh, acid-base balance. Uh, first a thing you'll notice, the first column here, the pH, uh, well, you should have learned this in A and P, but just to give you a refresher, uh, the human pH is 7.35 to 7.45. Anything in between the, this value is considered normal range. Um, when it is less than 7.35, such as here, you go into what's called acidosis. Uh, a pH, the lower the pH, the more acidic something is. Whereas... On the other hand, if it is more than uh, 7.45, then it's considered uh, basic or alkaline, and you're now in what we call alkalosis. Now, a lot of people are probably at wondering, why is this important to know? Prime example, a person has... Uh, a person is supposed to get so much um, oxygen as well as CO2. Um, that's just the way, body's way of uh, regulating certain functions such as breathing or, um, you know, if someone loses an access of one thing, uh, such as an electrolyte or something, the body is going to work its way out to repair it. So that's what's really important is first just understanding why 
we are looking at this, it'll kind of give you a little more appreciation for it. So not to ramble on, let's get to the point. So CO2, um, if something is wrong with the CO2, the normal values for CO2, as you can see, is 45, I mean, 35 to 45. So any, anywhere in between 35 and 45 is considered normal, great. Same with the HCO3, uh, which is the uh, bicarb, between 22 and 26. Now, the CO2 uh, is regulated by the lungs. That's obviously respiratory, um, and it's regulated by the lungs. So the lungs will try to compensate if, for example, you have not enough CO2, you know, and almost, you know, you're breathing, trying to either exhale the CO2 or bring more CO2 in. Uh, same with the kidneys. The kidneys are in control of the metabolic portion and the kidneys signal to, you know, either release more uh, by carb or, you know, decrease. So that's the main thing with this. So now let's talk about figuring it out. Um, there's a few ways to do this. Uh, the one that I have uh, kind of latched on to is one that I see a lot of people using and it, it's the one that's most effective uh, uh, for me. Um, and it's pretty much gathering the information here and going with the tic-tac-toe. So first, let's just talk about this just a little bit more here. And then I'll pull up the lab values. We'll go through, uh, do the tic-tac-toe. And, you know, the video, you'll be able to watch it over and over, which is pretty cool. So, pH. We have a pH of 7.34. Let's just use that for example. 7.34. 7.34 is lower. So that's the first thing we look at. First thing we look at is the pH. What is the pH? The pH here, 7.34. So anything lower than 7.35 is acidic. So we know the patient is definitely in acidosis. Now we need to figure out if it is respiratory or metabolic. The tic-tac-toe is going to help us, but this is just a, a quick way to think of it. Okay, the, uh, the bicarb, no, let's go. The CO2 is 49. We'll start with a lower number, 49. So it's 49 within the normal range. And the answer should have been no. Uh, 49 is an elevated CO2. So because we know it's elevated, this means anything over 45 is respiratory. Right? The HCO3 or the bicarb is 24, which is within the normal range. Remember, the normal range is 22 to 26. 24 is normal, so we know this is good. So we know the CO2 is going to be regulated by the lungs, and we are in acidosis, so we are in respiratory acidosis. I'm going to um, pull out the tic-tac-toe, just to uh, go over one of the lab values, and we will be able to um, do a few of those problems together just to kind of um, tie it all in so you can see it visually in another way. Give me one second. Okay, so this is the, uh, the tic-tac-toe that I was telling y'all about uh, where, you know, you, we have acid in one column, normal values in another column, base in another column. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, look at some lab values uh, because this is important. 
I'm learning as a nurse, so I, why not teach it? And then, you know, we're all learning together, so let's learn together. But we are going to see this for the entire duration of our career, you know, unless we're working in the morgue and then, you know. But e either way, this is important. And this e even goes into a little more detail where it, it talks about uh, partial compensation and full compensation. We'll get, we, we'll talk about that in another video. We'll save that uh, for another video. Um, if you all like this video, uh, I'll put another one out, but I just wanted to j just, just to touch on the, the surface, just to graze over the surface, just to, uh, help facilitate some better understanding for, again, for myself and for you guys. So let's start with these lap values. Okay. The, the, the trick is Whatever column the pH falls in, and then if the uh, acid, I mean, not the acid, the CO2 or bicarb falls in the same one, that will let us know whether it's acidosis or alkalosis and whether it's respiratory or metabolic. So, again, I'm not going to go into detail about the compensation because that's a whole way advanced thing. But let's talk about this. So let's look at these first lap values. Let's look at number one, the brown up here, up, up top. So we have a pH of 7.56, a CO2 of 20, and a bicarb of 20. So first thing what I would do, I'm just going to sit this out just a little bit and so we can pay attention to this. So the first thing I would do is let's put our pH. So Going back to the original paper, a pH of 7.56, is that acidic or is that alkaline? Is that acidosis or alkalosis? Or is it normal? Because it can, it can be normal as well. So let's look and see. Okay, 7.56 is greater than 45, which means it is alkaline, alkalosis. So let's put pH here under the base section. I'm writing, I'm writing with highlighters, but these highlighters are so dope. So pH, okay. Now the next thing we wanna look at, we wanna find out whether it's respiratory, uh, compensated by the lungs, or metabolic by the kidney. So let's look at the CO2. The CO2 is 20. The normal values for uh, CO2 is between 30, uh, 35 and 45. Anything less than 35 is, you're right, alkalosis. So this is definitely less than 35. So CO2 is here. Now, let's take a look at the um, bicarb. The bicarb is 20. And let's go back here. The values for this should be between 22 and 26. Anything less than 22, which 20 is, is acidic. So let's put bicarb over here. So this is HCO3. All right, so since this is over here, these two are the same, or in the same column. So it is, the pH is alkalosis. And since the lungs or the CO2 is in the same column, remember, back to here, we are dealing with respiratory alkalosis. Respiratory alkalosis. Let's do another one real quick. Um, and then, I'll, like I said, I'll post the rest of them down in the uh, somewhere. All right. Here's another one. So, uh, let's do... Let's do... Um, Let's do number um, two. Let's just go ahead and do number two. And then, like I said, the rest of these, we'll uh, talk about these down in the comment section. So number two, 
We have a pH of 7.23. Let's go back to our chart that we made. So our chart that we made, uh, 7.23 is lower than 7.35, which makes it acidic. So that's acidosis. So we know off the top that we are in acidosis with the pH. So pH, oh, well, that should have been capital, but oh well. Uh, pH is acidic. Now, our CO2 of 37 is, um, is 37 within range, or is it uh, acidotic or alkalotic? It's within range, actually. So let's go ahead and put normal for CO2. So we're not, we know we're not dealing with anything respiratory. So let's take a look at the final number for this one. It is 18. The bicarb is 18. And if we just refer back to our charts, anything less than 22 on a bicarb should be, would be um, acidic, which would be metabolic because of the kidneys. We're working with the kidneys now. So, this is acidic, and this is the HCO3. So, now we're dealing with the uh, bicarb and the pH are in the same line here. They're both under acid. So, we are dealing with metabolic acidosis. So, um, again, I, I don't want to keep y'all too long. I'll, we'll keep the conversation going down in the comment section. I just wanted to um, give y'all a little something different for uh, Vlogger Wayne. Um, something really useful as well. So, let me know if y'all have any questions or any other requests so we can get this together. And let's go ahead and survive this nursing experience um, as a team, you know. Because, you know, we can't do it by ourselves, you know. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.